Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gwen. In today's video, we will talk about solving problems involving isosceles trapezoid. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are given trapezoids wherein we are asked to solve for the value of x. And as you can see, number 1 and number 2 are all isosceles trapezoids. So how are we going to solve for the value of x given this problem? here in which this 14x plus 11 represents this angle well this angle has the measure of 85 degrees now first thing you need to do is to identify ano ba yung mga parts na available meron sa atin these angles are called opposite angles and we know that in an isosceles tri in an isosceles trapezoid opposite angles are supplementary. It simply means that when we add them, it all add up to 180 degrees. So how are we going to solve for this? First, we will copy 14x plus 11, then plus 85. Again, we're doing this because we need to add them and then their total is 180 because they are supplementary. Simplify this part. 11 plus 85, that is 14x plus 96 is equal to 180. Then what we need to do here is to transpose 96 to the other side of the equation. It will become 14x is equal to 180 minus 96. Subtracting it, it will give you the answer of 84. On the other side, we have 14x. So what we need to do is to divide both sides of the equation by 14. Cancel this out, cancel this out. As you can see, your x is equal to 84 divided by 14, which is equal to 6. Now this is our answer. As you can see, all we need to do here is to find the value of x because it says in our direction, solve for the value of x. Now let's go with the other example. We have here the trapezoid D, E, F, and G. So what we have here is D, F, which is 15. So this is D, F, 15. And then your E, G is 3x minus 21. These two segments inside the trapezoid are the diagonals. So how are we going to solve for this? We know that in an isosceles trapezoid, the diagonals are congruent, or it simply means they are equal. So we could say that df is equal to eg. And this is our working equation. We will substitute 15 for df, and then for EG, we have 3x minus 21. And as we all know, we need to transpose 21 to the other side. That would become 21 plus 15. And this is 3x. Add them, this is 36. It's equal to 3x. And to finally solve for the value of x, which is nothing in paper, nothing. Divide both sides by 3. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 36 over 3, which is equal to 12. And that's it, guys. So as you can see, we're done with example number 1 and number 2. We're in, we're just trying to solve for the value of x. In our next example, we will do the same, but at the end, we will figure out what is the measurement of the missing part of a given trapezoid. So let's proceed. We have here find the length of the diagonal indicated in each trapezoid. So as you can see, all of them are diagonals. So let's see number one. JL is equal to 2x plus 4. This is JL. And then for the KM, we have 4x minus 8. And we are asked to find JL. First thing we need to do is to find the value of x 
And that would be JL is equal to KM because the diagonals are equal or congruent. This is 2x plus 4 is equal to 4x minus 8. So what we can transpose 4x to the other side, but in my routine, I'm transposing the variable with the smaller coefficient. I will transpose 2x to the other side. It will become 4x minus 2x. Remember, eh? when you are transposing, you need to change the, the operation or the sign of that term. And on the other side, I will copy 4. I will transpose negative 8 to the other side. It will become plus 8. Here, 4 plus 8 is 12. This is 2x. Divide by 2. Cancel. x is equal to 6. And this is the answer for the variable x. But we are asked for jl. Our jl is represented by 2x plus 4. To find it, substitute x here. It will become 2 times 6 plus 4. And for the JL, this is 12 plus 4. And then as you can see, our JL is equal to 16. And this is the answer, guys. So how long is JL? We have 16 units. Now, if there's another question like asking for the measurement of MK, Though we can substitute 6 here for 4x minus 8, since diagonals are congruent, meaning mk or km has the measure of 16 units also because they are congruent. Okay, now let's proceed with the last example. These are diagonals, so we could create an equation u, w is equal to tv. That would be 3x plus 11 is equal to 8x minus 9. We will transpose 3x to the other side. It will become 8x minus 3x. Here, we have 11 transpose 9. That is plus 9. 11 plus 9 is 20. Here, this is 5x divided by 5. Divide by 5, cancel. Your x is equal to 20 divided by 5, which is 4. And this is the answer, guys. Now, let's go with the problem. Find u, w. Our u, w is represented by 3x plus 11. Substitute, we have 3 times 4 plus 11. This is 12 plus 11. So as you can see, our u, w is equal to 23 units. And as for the measurement of the other diagonal, which is TV, the answer is also 23. So I hope, I hope guys you learned something from this video. And if you have any question or request a topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. And again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!